Hello Winter, it's John Bundy and I am back with another Mega Drive Challenge as set by the Retro Martin and for this fortnight we are playing The Revenge of Shinobi which may shock you but it's a game that I've actually never played before until this challenge that is which is like how have you managed that? Like you know all the time I spent talking about the Mega Drive this is like considered one of the classic games for it. We played Shinobi 3 in one of the earlier challenges and I've played the Master System one as well for the Master System challenge but I've never actually played this one and yeah <laughs> I can see why this game is so loved and I can see like for me this is like a very flawed game as in like the sense of there are so many elements here which, you know, are fantastic, but there are two things which really just, I mean, there's one critical thing that for me is just means it can't be a great game, and another which is of the era, so I can't really have a go at it for it. And <laughs> the one that I can't really have a go at for it is the kickback, or knockback. When you get hit, you get knocked back, because the furthest I've got is level 2, and when you get knocked back and you just keep then falling to your death, that's just of the era, right? So it's still a fucking pain in the ass, but I know it's not the first game I wasn't the last to do it. But the one that for me is the fundamental flaw, which I will... Come on, get into the game. Yeah, the one that's the fundamental flaw for me is this. I did it. Is the double jump. Which, standing still doing this, yes, I seem to be pulling off. But when I'm... Like, you can't just double tap and do the double jump. You have to do it at, I think, like the apex of your jump to be able to pull it off. But that means is that unless if you perfectly know when you should press it, it's incredibly difficult then because like in the second level where you've got like tricky jumps, you know, platforming, and you can't accurately pull this thing off, it's just... Oh yeah. Anyway, if I get to some second level in this run, then you know, I mean, by high score, like the reason why I haven't reset the game because I was playing it before recording is because, in all honesty, I see myself like not getting that high score again. Like I want to like this game. You know, I know that it's people love it. It's just playing it, and I'm just getting frustrated with it because. Of things that I feel like shouldn't be there. Like, if there was a hack of this game that removed the knockback and made the double jump just work by just pressing the C button again, no matter what part of the jump you're in, I think would massively improve the playability of this game. But, yeah. Maybe I should see if there is actually a hack for that. I wouldn't do it for this challenge. It would be unfair, but still. Oh, for fuck's sake, stop moving around. Fine, you can stay there. You can definitely see that this was the same engine as used for uh, Streets of Rage. Even has some of the same sound effects. Oh. oh, fuck off! <sighs> Samurai, these samurai guys just piss me off as well. 
at least the extra life that I got up here it will respawn because if you die then you just come back to the beginning of this area. Oh, uh, for those who do this challenge, um, you can change it within the options to give yourself 90 um, daggers, whatever like the traditional name is, but um, cause you start with 50, I think, but you can up it to 90, which is the highest amount you're allowed, so. This is a game that it rewards patience. It wants you to not rush ahead. It wants you to take your time. I guess that's what about being a ninja is about. It's like striking at the right moment, not just being a bull in a china shop. And the music is by Yuzo Kishiro. You know, a brilliant composer who did the Streets of Rage series. And is also making a new Mega Drive game, Erpion, which I'm very looking forward to coming out. The master has returned to the platform. Now, if when, the, when I first faced this boss, it's just like I couldn't beat him. But all you have to do is just come up here, wait for him to swing his sword, and then do a double jump, and do that. But this is what I mean about double jump, not always doing what I wanted to do. Incredibly simple when you know how. Also, as long as you have enough daggers. Oh, I got a perfect bonus last time. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah, so I haven't got past this level. I haven't got past this area. So my complaints may now bear fruit. As in other words, you'll see why I struggle. Yeah, I, I wanted to do a double jump then, and it didn't, so... Wanted to do one then, it didn't. I... I thought it would do a double jump, and so I started moving to the right to get that log that was falling down, but it didn't activate correctly. So the game is giving me extra stress because of the fact that I don't know if my moveset is going to work correctly. Mm, see? Because that's the bottom pits down there, so... Not just down there, but like underneath... This is the platform part, like, you know, if you get knocked back in the wrong place, it's automatic death, so it's, yeah. <laughs> I, 
I wanted to double jump, it did not work, so then I got knocked back. That is both of my issues in a nutshell right there. It makes the platforming harder. I tried to double jump then and it didn't work. I double jumped then and again, didn't work. Double jump then, didn't work. Double jump then, and it didn't work! Oh, it worked then, but I didn't think it would, so... Good thing there's no timer on this. Okay, all you people who love this game, tell me hand on heart, this does not annoy you when, you know, because you must have experienced this as well. So, knock back. How do you not hold your control through the screen? Or is this a get good situation? I mean, was a design choice configuring or programming the double jump the way they did? I just feel like it would have come up in like test. didn't work then.
I'm no stranger to using save states, but that's what it feels like I would have to do. Almost died then, because the fucking double jump didn't work. Because I feel like I need save states just to protect myself from the controls not doing what I want. Oh. Alright, game over. Fuck this game. High score 8, 9, 700. So, catch you all next time.